shorty, how you like my flow? We just getting money, busy trying to stack dough. New wave, nigga face, tic tac toe. So the first thing you want to do is listen to your music. Next, you want to pick the parts that you want the effect to be on. So I wanted to be around here, where I've added on this VHS effect, and it sounds like this. So mine's right here, I'm going to make a cut, and then head towards the end, and I'm just going to get rid of it over here. Now I've got this middle track over here, I'm going to head over to the effects panel, and search for high pass. It's one word under the filter and EQ, and it will drag it onto the track. If you want to, you can leave it as this. But you can make it sound better by fading into the effect from the original audio. You want to right click in between the first cut we made and then click on apply default transitions. It's going to create this constant power effect. You can just double click on it and then what you want to do is set the duration to 4. It's okay and you want to apply the same thing to the second cut. Right click, apply default transitions and then set it to 4. If you want to you can also adjust the cutoff of the high pass effect. So what you can do is turn it up or down. So if I set it to 1800 it sounds even more compressed so take a listen. If you turn it down to let's say 400, it's going to sound less compressed like this. But moving on onto the next effect, so I'm just going to get rid of high pass. The next one's called low pass, add it onto your audio, and what this does is make it sound muffled like this. The lower the amount, the more muffled it's going to sound like, so if I do set the cutoff to 700 and then play it back. I think it would work best for something that has a lot of vignette like this because it puts the focus on a specific character or object. And of course, if you do turn the cutoff to something higher, it's going to sound more like the original, like this. Another one is called treble and I'm not entirely sure how to describe it, but if I were to turn up the boost to let's say 6, it makes the audio sound a little sharp, like this. And finally, the bass effect, which is very simple. Drag it onto your audio, turn it up, let's say, by 8. You'll be able to hear the bass even more clearly, like this. But anyways, those were the most common audio effects that people use on their edits. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.